Hey guys, we are back for another video. Um, let's jump right in because I got some material that I want to cover with y'all. Um, but before we jump in, we're going to be talking about um, Buffy, Mariah, and Sweet T. Now they all got together and I'm going to let you know how this all fits in. But before we do that, let's jump into our um, intro and then I'm going to give y'all the rundown. And y'all, before we jump in, I still need you guys to, first of all, thank you to everyone that has went ahead and followed and subscribed um, to my Patreon. Please continue to do so, so I can get that content going. Um, just need more subscribers over there. Um, the reason that I am I have created the Patreon. Actually, I've had it for some time, but just wanting to take some um, commentary over there. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of times, you know, when there's curse words or if you guys notice when it's sexual assault or um, I always say S-A if I'm doing a video, that's because a lot of words we really can't talk about on YouTube because they censor a lot of your information. Um, so please go to Patreon and look. Um, if you're not familiar, just go to Google and type in Patreon. Once you get on Patreon, um, you go to find a creator and then just look for Lakeisha. Lakeisha, go ahead follow and subscribe. Okay, guys, thank you. Now let's get into this video. Okay, guys, so let me set a quick preface for this video. So Mariah Hook, the creator of Married to Medicine, and then of course we have Buffy, who was on the show for one season, and now we have Sweet Tea, who is a current cast member. So let me tell you guys how this all fits in together. Mariah Hook, Obviously, she created Married to Medicine. Her and Buffy has teamed up together and they now have a podcast. Now, for those of you who may not know what Mariah is doing right now, she's ha she has a huge um, content space in McDonough, Georgia, and they, is they are actually recording the podcast out of Mariah's space and they are doing this once a week. Now, I've been told Mariah's space is absolutely lovely. If you guys are in the Georgia area, if you are close to McDonough, you can actually go in there and rent out space to do your podcast or, you know, she has content creation rooms, but they have teamed up together. So Sweet Tea was a special guest on their show um, that aired tonight. And I want to get into some of the things that they talked about, honey, and it is going to get really, really good. So Mariah got into her receipts. Now, y'all know it's been the situation with, well, I shouldn't say situation, Mariah released the information with regards to Heavenly, Heavenly Dr. He well, the dentist. We're going to call her the dentist. Um, the dentist's husband, Dr. Damon. Um, they wanted to know, or should I say, Sweet Tea wanted the receipts on that. And Mariah, being the poised, professional person um, that she is, she didn't really um, divulge and get into that. Um, but of course, she said if she says she got the receipts, she got the receipts. Um, but what she did go into is exactly who Dr. Heavenly is and exactly how she plays and her intention on this show. Now, for those of you who do not or did not watch Married to Medicine from season one, this is going to probably be a little bit hard for you to follow. Um, but here, here we go. So doctor, or should I, I'm not going to call her Dr. Heavenly, the dentist, she was actually on season one, but they really didn't film her. She was off to the side. Now, if you, again, if you guys are familiar with the show, you would have saw her off to the side, but she was huge and she looks totally different than how she looks right now. Um, Mariah goes into, that was part of the reason that the producers did not want Heavenly on the show um, because of the way she looked, um, which is interestingly because, well, I'm saying, I'm sorry, interesting because she actually puts down people for the very same thing. Dr. Heavenly was very huge. 
um, back then when the, you know, season one aired and she's a dentist. So not only was the producers not um, thrilled by Dr. Heavenly being overweight, they said her the way that she dressed, um, they basically said that Dr. Heavenly did not fit in with the ladies. And not only did the producers say she did not fit in, Dr. Heavenly is a dentist. Now, a dentist, it it is a doctor, but honestly, do we what you know, do we really see a dentist as a doctor or do we actually see a dentist as a dentist? Um, so they're saying, or I'm sorry, what Mariah is saying, that is one of the reasons why, why they did not want her on this show. Now we can understand why Dr. Heavenly is always pushing um herself to say she's a doctor when really she's a dentist. Is a dentist a form of a doctor? It is, but we really call a dentist a dentist. So one of the reasons why they did not want her on this show is because she also was not an MD. She's not a medical doctor. A dentist and a medical doctor, there is a very, very, very difference here. So what Mariah has described is Dr. Heavenly felt like a thorough way. They did not want her on the show. They did not recognize her as a doctor. Um, and they pretty much said she looked crazy, like she was overweight. Um, and Mariah states how she pushed Dr. Heavenly. Um, and I'm going to show that clip coming up where you guys can kind of see it for yourself. But what Mariah described is that Dr. Heavenly will do anything to stay on this show because she was rejected and she was treated so badly. Now that um, rings a bell if you guys go back to season two because Dr. Jackie did not like Dr. Heavenly. Um, in fact, none of the ladies really liked Dr. Heavenly. Um, and you guys would have to go back and watch the show to actually um, understand what, what, what I'm saying. And when Mariah speak to this, it kind of makes sense. Um, Dr. Heavenly will do anything to be on this show. Um, Mariah also speaks to her um, and Dr. Um, Jackie's relationship um, that Dr. Heavenly is definitely going to be the mouthpiece for Dr. Jackie because she knows that is one way for her to stay on this show. Um, Mariah mentioned you know, obviously Simone has her own voice, which is a very loud, loud screaming voice. Um, and she mentioned that Dr. Simone is definitely not going to be the mouth mouthpiece for Dr. Jackie. But she said, but Dr. Heavenly most certainly will. And she understands that that is a way to secure her spot on this show. But what she also alluded to saying Dr. Heavenly will also turn her back on Dr. Jackie. I'm over to Amazon. I'm gonna <laughs> you don't want another outfit too, baby. Latex. <laughs> so let me let me tell y'all this. You know the receipts thing is so everybody love it. Receipts has been a national sensation. Yes. But for me, it was a defi I said this before, it was a defining moment. I could have went in the gutter with this is the same, <laughs> and I want y'all to know, y'all don't know I'm, I am She's and a I mean it. She's so I could, nice. I can't, point, you, you no, can't no, I don't care for her. I, so I liked nice. Heavenly. Coming into this, I handpicked her. You know, Toya said, Say hey, Say that shit somebody. again. Yes, you handpicked her. Well, eh, maybe I'm exaggerating. Okay, not handpicked her. I handpicked her after she was presented to me by Toya. Well, that's your show. That's what and you like do. like other people. But I thought, and they didn't like her. Let me be very clear. So, so thus, she was not, I think, need you to understand. Heavily she with didn't her. You know, Toya said, Say hey, Say that shit somebody. again. Yes, you handpicked her. Well, eh, maybe I'm exaggerating. Okay, not handpicked her. I handpicked her after she was presented to me by Toya. Well, that's your show. That's what and you like do. like other people. But I thought, and they didn't like her. Let me be very clear. So, so thus... She was not, I think, need you to understand. Heavenly she didn't was not in. on the first season of Married to Medicine because none of the producers outside of me liked her. Uh, Let me tell you how much I advocated for her, and they lie. They said she She didn't have a baby. They didn't want her. She didn't fit. I was offended. 
I felt I was offended with white guys Period. from Hollywood saying that. I looked at her and I said, you going to get this. This is your role. I swear to God. See the Please. When I want to say she going to lie. Introduced her to the trainer, Jay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jay. And the plastic she surgeon. She the heat. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it introduced her okay. to a wardrobe stylist, Brian, my little cousin, and made sure she got a sparkle, came through with the hair and makeup. Everybody really wanted. And this is a visual of what Dr. Heavenly looked like um, in those, um, you know, in the beginning of Married to Medicine. And this is one of the reasons why producers did not want her on the show. Because, I mean, look at her. She she didn't look like any of the other ladies. Now, isn't it interesting how this woman can say sweet tea doesn't belong and she doesn't fit in when she, in fact, did not fit in at all. And they did not want her on the show. As you guys have heard Mariah say, she got, Dr. Um, Heaven, well, the dentist, she got the dentist, a trainer, a stylist, and she did all of these things to help her. But yet you hear um, the dentist speaking so nasty of, um, of Mariah. And it goes to show the reason why she's doing this is because none of the other ladies like Mariah. So it's going to show that Dr. Um, the dentist Heavenly will do anything to stay on this show, including crossing her bestie, Dr. Jack. If you guys get the opportunity, go over to Buffy's channel and watch the full interview. Obviously, I'm not going to play the complete video on my channel. I can't do that. I can play snippets of it, but I cannot play her entire video. One of the things that Mariah said is that we see, and it may look like Dr. Heavenly is, or the dentist, is loyal to Jackie. She's actually not. Um, this is out of convenience for her. Uh, Mariah, as Mariah has stated, Heavenly is loyal to nobody but herself. The reason that she latched on to Jackie, Dr. Jackie, is because that's how she solidified her position. Because in all essence, Dr. Jackie doesn't even speak up or doesn't say too much of anything. I don't even know why she's on the show, to be honest. But Dr. Heavenly is it's her mouthpiece. So she kind of fits in that way. You guys think about it. We don't know nothing about Dr. Heavenly. We don't know, know nothing about her life, her husband, other than allegedly, you know, he's cheated. And I mean, judging from her pictures, I mean, he probably was cheating back then. I mean, look at her. I mean, Dr. Heavenly has the smoke for everybody. Uh, she talks about sweet tea. She talks about everybody. But I believe she solidifies her position on this show by sticking to Dr. Jackie. Now, does that mean that she won't turn on Dr. Jackie? As Mariah stated and as Buffy stated, why does Dr. Heavenly steal on her YouTube channel the video of Dr. Jackie talking about black women? No, Dr. Heavenly, she don't like Jackie either. This is just her plan, her position to solidify herself on the show and quiet is kept if she can sell out dr jackie to remain because people like dr heavenly now some people don't and some people do so i don't believe that for me it's not that i don't like her i think she is too ratchet i think she needs to bring us something else other than fighting and cussing and yo mama you know it, it gets old um but what they're saying is Dr. Heavenly will definitely sell out Dr. Jackie if it meant her getting, you know, being able to stay on the show longer or being able to get more money. Think about it. We saw a huge backlash about a video that was on Dr. Heavenly's YouTube channel. All she needed to do was delete it, but she never did. We don't even know if Dr. if if Dr. Heavenly the dentist, we, she could have did that to Dr. Jackie. She could have released that video. I wouldn't put anything past her. I want to know what y'all think. Even Mariah talked about Dr. Simone. She says, I can't believe 
that Dr. Jackie and Simone is not as close as they used to be considering Dr. Simone came to me to get Dr. Jackie on the show and look what she does. So I think Dr. Jackie is definitely going to get her karma from Heavenly. If you guys remember, Dr. Jackie didn't like Heavenly in the bit in the um, beginning. And I believe Dr. Jackie has plans. I'm sorry. I believe Dr. Heavenly has plans for Dr. Jackie in the end. I would love to know what you all think in the comments. Let's have a full conversation in the comments. As always, guys, please make sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you guys enable your bell notifications. Now, your bell notifications will notify you when I upload a new video. So you need to make sure you guys are enabled so you do not miss out on the video.